Ladies and gentlemen, the original hustler, bring up to the floor, Mr. Rick Ross. Now, the biggest boss of them all, Rick Ross, is in trouble because he ain't been handling his business. News recently broke that five Wingstop locations in Mississippi have been fined over $100,000 for labor violations. That's a lot of money, boss. All the Wingstop franchises were operated by Boss Wings Enterprises, owned by Rick Ross and his family. So, the only <laughs> Wingstops that are bad are owned by the rapper who promoted it the most. Jesus, come on, Rick Ross, you gotta do better than that. That doesn't make any sense. Now, Rick Ross responded and had a lot to say in defense of himself. Before we get to that, I gotta tell you what the hell was going on. Because five days before his video message uh, responding to this, the Department of Labor's Wage and Hour Division announced that it had collected $114,000. 22 million. 23 million. Jesus, they're moving it fast. And back wages, liquidated damages, and, and civil penalties from the five wing stop locations. The investigation discovered that over 200 employees had been forced to pay for background checks, cash register shortages, safety training, and uniforms. So basically, it sounds like Rick Ross was scamming his employees. And I'm not saying that's what he was doing, but at least under his guidance, the people that were running and operating his businesses were doing that because they weren't supposed to be paying for any of those things. Well, that's not good. These infractions led to the reduction of some employees' average hourly rate, which is $7.25. I'm tired, boss. So the business messes up, they get fined, and then they pass those fines on to the employees that are operating the business. Oh, I hope this isn't taking accountabilities, Rick Ross. But anyway, it was discovered that Boss Wings allowed a 15-year-old employee to work past 10 p.m. on multiple occasions in June 2021. So seems legit and not at all creepy. Not child labor, Ross. The law prohibits workers under 16 from working past 7 p.m. Now, this is disturbing because Rick Ross owns 30 Wingstop franchises across the U.S. According to various sources, each franchise pulls in about $1.2 million annually with approximately $200,000 in annual profits. I guess you can't make that good old wing money without, you know, having a couple of kids work overnight and charging employees for background checks. But the biggest boss is not one to shy away from controversy, and it looks like he is standing up and taking accountability for the things that happened at the restaurants that he owned. On Wednesday, August 17th, Rick Ross hopped on his Instagram story to issue a statement after news recently broke that, you know, the wing stops had gotten <laughs> some violations. Rick Ross said when you're running a business, there will be mistakes, and he ended up taking accountability for everything that happened at his stores, and I think that's pretty much all we can ask. And also said that he made a mistake once, but won't be making it again. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Rick Ross, all his restaurants should be shut down? Do you think that this is just a mistake that happened with, you know, hiring the wrong people or maybe he didn't know? To be fair, I don't think that he actually had a hand in the day-to-day -day operations and knew what was going on. But also, I appreciate him taking accountability because at the end of the day, these stores are owned and operated by you and your family. So the blame falls on you correctly. And I, and I appreciate him standing up and, and taking accountability. But let me know, what do you think? Do you think he's in trouble? Do you think he should not be allowed to own a wing stop? Will you be eating wing stop again? And also, while we're talking about taking accountability, Meek Mill got a slave contract that we probably should talk about at some point when it comes to hip hop because we didn't know that happened at all. But yeah, let me know what you think.